Alrighty, hello everyone. This is Halloween Haunter here, and welcome back to another Halloween video. And in this Halloween video, we have right here is the Spirit Halloween 2023 Little Jack Carver. Now, I actually got this guy last year during the 2023 Halloween season. I got him back in September. I bought him along with a bunch of other smaller tabletops. But the reason why I'm just now unboxing him now versus unboxing him, you know, back then is because. Uh, number one, I was super busy during the Halloween season, so I didn't have enough time to go ahead and unbox this guy. And second of all, I did not need this guy in my display last year, which is why he was never unboxed. But he was pretty popular last year, so I wanted to go ahead and get him before he was sold out. So I was really happy I did that. But now I finally have some time to go ahead and finally unbox this guy. Super excited. I've always loved this character. I just, again, never needed to unbox it until kind of now. So let's go ahead now and finally open this bad boy up again have not even peeked in at all. So let's go ahead and see what's inside the box. This prop is made by Crazy Crate, so it's one of their pull-out boxes. Here we go. So this is all the parts right here, pretty much. Let's go ahead and look at all of them. First we have is some foam padding for the legs. Um, the pumpkin, which is actually just a half pumpkin. That is interesting. I thought it was a full pumpkin. Maybe not. Some clothing right here, along with the instructions. Looks like I have to cut some zip ties real quick. We have his body right here with the head. We got some, I think, kneecaps right here. We have this box, which I'm going to unbox right now. And here we have the adapter. And then we also have right here the module. And our final piece that I have to go ahead and cut, we have the base. So yeah, that's pretty much all of Little Jack Carver's parts. Let's go ahead now and begin that setup. All right, so first, of course, we'll go ahead and take the base of Jack Carver and then go ahead and take this piece with the cap at the very top that says front and put that on and make sure it snap locks into place. Then we will go ahead now and actually attach Jack Carver to the cap piece. Then we'll take the pumpkin mask and actually go ahead and snap lock that into place. First, you have to go to the side of it and then go ahead and twist and you can kind of just pull this back down. Then we'll go ahead and take Jack Carver's legs and go ahead and take the cap knee pieces and put those over where the knees bend. And then strap them through the other hole slot on the other side of the cap piece. And then we will do the same for the other side. Then we'll go ahead and take the legs and put them through the pants now. After that, now we'll go ahead and take the base and the overall prop so far and put that over the pants. Then we'll go ahead and take the module now and actually hook that onto the back pole of the base. And then plug in the wires coming from the mechanism, the head, and the sensor wire on the pants. Also, don't forget to go ahead and plug in the pumpkin mask from the wire coming from the top of Jack Carver's head. Then I'll go ahead and actually plug in the adapter into the adapter jack. Then I'll go ahead and actually take the shirt and unvelcro it and put the arms through the arm sleeves. Then I'll go ahead and actually velcro the shirt back up in the front and make sure I insert these tabs into each other. Then I'll go ahead and pull up the pants up just a little bit past the waist and the velcro the sides of the pants to the velcros on the shirt. Then I'll go ahead and actually take the overalls of Jack Carver and put them over the body in the very back and then take the front of the overalls and velcro them to the straps of the overall. Then I'll go ahead and take the Velcros coming from the straw hands on the shirt and connect them to the pumpkin with the Velcro. And then I'll go ahead now finally and put them sitting down on a bench. After that, make sure you go ahead and actually run the adapter through the back of the pants and make sure you Velcro that back up. There's a slot in the very back of the pants where you can unvelcro it and turn them on and also run the adapter through that. After you're done with that, go ahead and plug him in and he's pretty much good to go. And that is how you set up the Spirit Halloween 2023 Little Jack Carver. Let's go ahead now and roll that demo. <laughs>
So there you saw was the Little Jack Carver in action. And honestly, I think this piece is just super unique. I've always been a big farm scarecrow pumpkin guy. So of course I'm going to gravitate towards characters like this. But I got to say, I think Spirit and Crazy Crate nailed this character very well. It's got no new like creative mechanism. It's actually the same pop-up mechanism we've been seeing Crazy Crate use for Spirit Props for the last almost 10 years. But I think it's super cool when they find new ways to use it without being total reskin or unoriginal idea. They find new ways to make it cool. He has a really cool like look to him. Of course, he's like a zombie possessed boy prop. You can see his face has a bunch of like blood and scars on it with his teeth showing. Uh, the blood could be definitely better, but I won't say it's like that bad. Just really in the right lighting that won't really look that weird. So it is kind of weird in daylight, but not but not super bad overall the face of the pumpkin looks really good too i like the carved out pumpkin face uh the overalls look really good too in the shirt as well a uh, pretty classic like farm look to them nothing crazy there but i think it looks good and i'm overall just really happy they made a possessed boy prop i mean it's mostly just a zombie boy however we get so many possessed girl props or zombie girl props I feel like we never really see like possessive boy props and I feel like we should definitely get more of those. So seeing more like this guy definitely is a plus for me. And I just don't really have much wrong with him. I would say I kind of wish that his pumpkin was a full pumpkin sculpt and not just a half pumpkin. And maybe too that his price tag was a bit cheaper. He's $170 which isn't really bad personally. I think it's actually one of the better priced props in recent years. But he could have been definitely $150. I think $150 definitely would have been better for that. But regardless really big deal to me he's built pretty fine i don't really have much wrong with him currently and i think it's actually really cool that his pumpkin face continuously lit until he's activated i would show that right now but unfortunately it would have his face covered up but still i think he's a really good prop really well done and i think overall if you are looking to buy him i 100 percent recommend it with that being said that pretty much wraps up my video on the spirit halloween 2023 little jack carver he currently has come back in stock it's mostly just leftover stock i am not really sure if he's gonna have a full restock this season but if you want him get him all you can since he's still in stock please like comment and subscribe make sure to hit that notification bell and i will see you guys in the next halloween video